Hello everybody and welcome to CPP is me. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple press enter to continue function using C++. As you can already see, I'm having my compiler character out press enter to continue. Now, in order to create the rest of the function, we need to go standard character in dot get with open and close parentheses. Now we just build our function. And we run it. Now it displays press enter to continue, and once I press enter, the program ends. Character in get waits for user input in order for the program to move forward, such as press enter to continue menus on the console. However, if you have user input before character in get, for example, if you have integer num, and then you have the console character out enter an integer and then you have the user enter said integer the compiler will skip right over the function like so this is because the stream already has a character in it seeing how we entered in a number. However, in order to clear the stream or clear the buffer, we use standard character in dot ignore with open and close parentheses. Character in dot ignore clears the buffer or the previously entered line to avoid lines at the end of the stream. What this does is it basically empties whatever was in the buffer so character in get can wait for new input. So let's build our function and run it. Let's enter 10. And now, as you can see, it does the character in get because character in ignore emptied the buffer. These two functions can be used in combination fairly well if you're using user interface, if you're displaying menus and you want the user to be able to sit and read for a while instead of having it timed. Also, these are fantastic functions to use instead of calling system functions, because if you call system functions, that means that it's using that specific OS. C++ is compatible with Mac OS, Linux, and Windows. If you're using a system function, it will only be compatible with Windows. Character in get and character in ignore work fantastically if you're thinking that your program is going to be used on more than one platform. This platform I'm talking about is Windows. So basically, use sin ignore to clear the buffer and sin get to wait for user input. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.